Tadio, can you hear me okay? Yeah. And, me. and I hear you loud. I hear you loud and clear. Also, do you speak other languages, Tadio, or just English? Um, other languages. Oh, what other languages do you speak? I speak French, Spanish, and a little bit of Thai. Wow, that's very impressive. Moi, je parle un peu de français aussi, et aussi je parle russe. Mais uh, les autres, l'espagnol et, uh, et Thai, pas du tout. But it's very nice to speak with you today. <laughs> Thank you, and you as well. I, did you have uh, some questions, uh, Tadio? Yes. Um, why in your book you have a skateboard like on your feet? And... <laughs> uh, well, if you were writing a book, Tadio, if you wrote a book, you'd have to have a cover on your book, like on the outside of the book. And then what would, what would you put on the cover of your book? you'd probably want it to be interesting and something that people would look at and notice and think about. And when you fly in space, it's like magic because you're, you're weightless and you're going around the world so fast. It's a lot of fun. And so I just thought it would be good on the cover of the book to have something sort of fun for people to look at. And we don't actually skateboard in space, but but it's so much fun that it sort of feels like skateboarding. So it was just an idea to put on the cover of the book, and I, I hope you like it. Um, another question. How can you sleep when there's so many sunrises and so, so many sunsets? Uh, it's a good question. Um, if you slept by a window, it would be really distracting because there's a sunrise and a sunset every 46 minutes. So they'd wake you up all the time because of all that light. So we sleep in a place where it's dark, where you can close the door and you can completely cover the window and you can make it quiet. Otherwise, the, the, the rising sun every 90 minutes would, would wake you up. It's a good question. You can't sleep very well in space if you can see out the window. And this kind of last question, what time is it in space and do you get jet lag in space? So this is my NASA watch here. Let me see if we can, uh, if you can see it. This says NASA on my watch. It's upside down, but hopefully you can see it. So right now, uh, you and I are on different time zones, right? Because I'm in Canada and you're in Bangkok. Uh, so right now, it's a different time of day for you than me because we're on different sides of the ball of the Earth. So if you're on a spaceship, would you use your watch or would you use my watch or would you use somebody else's watch, right? You have to choose. And we decided because there's a lot of people on earth taking care of us who are in the United States and there are a lot of people on earth taking care of us who are in Russia, that we would sort of split the time in between the two to make it sort of average for the two of them. And so we chose England. So on the spaceship, we are on the same time zone as the people in England. So when, um, when the queen wakes up, that's when we wake up on the spaceship. Okay, thank you for being in the show. Thank you, Tadio. Thank you for thinking about the questions. And I hope you enjoy, uh, enjoy reading that book. I hope you find something in there that, that is useful for you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. To uh, everybody that's in Tadio's classroom, hello and pursue your dreams. Your life is what you choose to make of it. Don't let anybody else choose your life for you. And, and you are the result of the decisions that you make. So make good ones. Bye-bye.